Yo, Thursday, day, race day Saturday. And today we're about to do some blocks into the straight away. Feeling ready, see what happened weekend. Pick up the coaches so far. Coaches back, everybody been good. And yeah, let's put in this book, put in some trails and get into it. Mike and Sharp. <laughs> uh, the GC Foster track team. The winning track team of 10 relays, 4 by 200 meters. The finisher. Right. <laughs> so, what do you have for training today, sir? So training up with me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, nice, nice. How are you feeling today? Here we have coach Jermaine Hamilton, sprinting coach of GC Foster Track and Field, also Sprintec. All right, coach, what do you have to see going into the training session today? Uh, um, just another day in the office. We just need these athletes to all that they have learned into perspective. Uh, once they do that, we will have a successful session. Alright, so what do you feel about going into Saturday's competition? Once they execute, we'll get their deserved results. Alright, thank you, thank you. Yes. Here we have Jeremy and Calvin, also known as Cal. As people remember you from the last um, vlog, the last chat meet. Mm -hmm. So, do you have anything to say no in terms? Of, of this training session? Yeah, I'm going into this chat meet Saturday. Well, they have the last chance, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, after this chat meet Saturday, mm -hmm. we will know who will be in the camp. All right. So, I guess it would look less than this next week. Alright, let's see what's going on. Okay. All right, so here we have um, Shemar Henry, also known as Sonic. What do you have to say in terms of this chat meet and this today's training? The today's training is very scant still, but um, coming up to this chat meet, you see. Prove themselves, say, oh, they really need to be hard. They want the eyeglass, they want always do. But it's just a feeling, and it's never a thing that we should play with. Right? So, we say, turn around. I always love to see performance stars. You like laughing? Yeah, this is what I got. <laughs> Alright, so here we have Coach Lamar Richards of Sprint Tech Track Club slash GC Foster. Alright, so competition week what do you have to see in terms for this training and next week's competition next week or uh, saturday this, yeah time. saturday sorry about that. well based on the week um the allies have been putting in some serious work they have been giving us the time of uh, acts for especially the expo tracks for. so the onus is on them to go there and deliver if we go there and then don't deliver well we don't know what else we can so just push them out, so six, so meet, injury free, and just go there and get the job done, eh? All right, thank you.
Come on, keep going. Andre Dakers, Navin Fleming, and Makish Compton. He knows himself. <laughs>
after training session how was it today Injury, injury free, good feedback from the coach, good positive energy from the guys. So it was a good day today. Yeah. Alright, nice. Alright, what about you, Mr. Ferret? Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully we get our PV weekend, you know? Alright. So you have any expectations Saturday? Alright, good going. Good performance today. We just say everything. Them, them have it. Them have it. I just them no more run for. But them boy. Oh <laughs> Alright, Mr. Oshie and Bailey. Do you have anything to say? Alright. <laughs> As I said, from Monday to today, I've been nice training session. You guys have been training well. So let's see what happens on Saturday. Eh? Good. End credits. Uh, it was a good session. I mean, we would have achieved most of the things that we wanted to achieve. But you know, my philosophy is you can never have a perfect day. There's always room for improvement. There's always something that we can work on. So once we maintain that philosophy, we will be great. Yeah? Thumbs up. Alright. 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 You have any expectations going into Saturday? Coming. Something's coming. <laughs> yeah. Put, like you just come every day and you know, think about it, think about it, think about it. When you left us, you think about it. When you have to sleep, you think about it. Yeah, we'll find other ways. I'm telling man, it's not funny. Fun. Uh, as I can tell, majority of the athletes them do well. Both. Them, them need to find track and field as well. See, they don't find balance money. Yeah. Basically, find the balance between track and field and the day-to-day -day life. Yeah. Yeah. When you think so much work, you lose. You find something to relax your mind after all day of training. Track and field come like a little theme, you know. A lot of youth love and take them out of poverty and them family, whether, whether they become professional or they go to university or die, but you have to find a balance. You can't just think too much about it, so you make it, it's like you have a fight, and the more tends to be when you fight, you easier for lose. You have to relax, so you can throw a job them right away. You know, so fly me whether they really lose fight like that, because the man is so relaxed. When you go to some tents, I'm going to run in for the fight. The man just goes on site and give you one dump and you knock out. So you track that, just a flow. I see him, you just come in and you easy, man. Come on, I'm going to time let you track off it. I'm going to last time, I'm going to pressure myself on a certain time. Just play some <laughs> game, you know. Let us have fun and enjoy sport. Yeah, and read a book. And when you surf all YouTube, you don't need to focus on the track and film. Look for some joke or some man again, you know. Yeah, man, I love making yeah, watch, some, watch Prince Pine them video and, you know. Yeah, man, be you know, be you know crazy, man. Them. Yeah, you find something to do when you occupy your mind. Because you see, you have one thing when you have stressors, you know. Who like that? Yeah, you have one thing when you have stressors. Stressors at the body. So you go so and you come here so you know and you know, you know we are thinking about this track and feeder so much. So like you do a dead trail today. I yeah, yeah, think about it. And when you have to run it one way you have to run. That's why I'm gonna tell at this time, like what am I gonna run before? 
to open it. I look, it's benefit from time, but not all the time. Not the time. Like, I mean, it's a train. Um, what I'm coach any program now. Yeah. Bless it, bless it, yeah, brother. Before. Yeah, you know. I say, oh, I'm going to get out. 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 I'm going all right, here today, this afternoon at GC Foster College, we have Miss Mikkel Moody, pioneering upcoming sprint athlete, 100 meters. I'm going to ask her a few questions. So, how was training today? It was great. I mean, I'm improving, apart from the niggas and everything. It's coming on. All right, so now. What are your expectations going into this Saturday's meet? Well, I hope not to be afraid like the previous trap meets because I have had an injury. So, just hoping for personal best. Alright, right, so now the national championships are coming up and I know for a fact that you would want to be on that national team. So, can you give us a brief expectation on what you're going to do? or? the mindset you have going into the national championships? Well, follow um, giving instruction from my coach, Mr. Hamilton, Mr. Wilson. Yeah, and I know that I'll be good. All right, thank you. Yeah. All right, good afternoon here. We have Michael Sharp, uh, upcoming 200 meter athlete for the GC Foster College. And he is a man that is coming back from a lot of trials and tribulations. And we have him here today, and he's just going to give us a brief wording. So, Sharp, tell me how was the training this afternoon? Um, it was a great session. We have been better in terms of being sick. But it was great. Alright, alright. So, is there anything you wish you could have done in training today for improvement? Well, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so um, you've been coming back from a grueling injury in terms of last last season with a bad knee problem. So now, can you tell us how that's been like on your mentality and how it's like coming back and stamping your name in the record books because you just won, you, know, you just helped your team won the full by 200 meters at the, um, the pen relay meet in philadelphia so tell me how was that like and the feeling that you um, had it's a great feeling because last year i was on a good shape and then i got a knee injury where i had to do surgery i think all i had to do was just to stay mentally strong i got coaches my friends family who helped me to stay strong and to bounce back so now i'm here and i got the tank the medical team and the therapist team and GC first and the coaches because without them I wouldn't be here right now. Alright, so the meets all come as number two coming up. You're down for the hundred meters. Do you have any expectations going into that meet this week? After this, something special. Alright, so the national championships are in July and you're expected to run at the 200 meters what are your expectations and the mindsets going through your mind at this point in time for that national championships coming up first and foremost i have to stay healthy and for the final you said don't put time on yourself just you can see what happens when the child has to see what happens i think something great is coming all right thank you michael shop Blessings to you. Thank you, sir. All right, so here we have Rashid Doya, Olympic 200 meter finalist, sprint tech, and national champion for a lot of years. Um, he's just here to give a little inspiration to those out there who are trying and those who want to make it out with track and field. So, do you have anything to say? about the training today and the expectations and how things should be and a little inspiration for the youth well 
first and foremost, um, I, I just want to say today's training was a, a good one. That I, I came out here and I saw some excellent times that was basically putting down on the track. Um, so I, I'm pleased with what I, I actually saw today. Um, based on what I expect from the, the guys, I expect um, good performance from across the board um, because I think the guys have been training very well, consistent in training. Um, they are actually coming to training on time, putting in the work and stuff like that. But overall, I just want the guys to um, keep humble and, and work as hard as possible. And just always remember that you're about no man in track and field and track and field of Chuck and feel is a sport that humble anybody. Um, if you're on the top, it gives you a big drop and make you humble yourself. Um, so I just want the guys them to be humble and just be consistent and have respect to um, their peers, their coach, and just continue to put in some good work. All right. So do you have any expectations for the national championships coming up in July? Um, in terms of my performance? Yeah. Um, based on my performance, it's just a stepping stone because I'm just coming back from some niggling injuries. So the aim and objective is to run fast. I made a team. Hopefully by this year, I bring my, my PB run under 19.8. So I'm working towards it definitely, but I'm taking it a step at a time though. All right, so do you have anything inspirational to say to the guys out there who are trying? Just continue to grind. Um, as I always said, that everybody of their glory day, no matter how you started out, um, everybody of their, their glory day. Uh, if you're running 11 and you run 10 9, probably that year is your glory day. So I just continue to train hard and put in the work. You're going to get your glory day one day. All right, thank you, Rashid Doya. You're welcome. All right.